What is compare and pull request? It is a GitHub feature that lets you compare changes between two branches. GitHub provides an interface to propose the changes, to review them, and finally merge the code once it is approved. It is commonly used to merge different branches to other branch. It could be a development feature branch or some issue fix branch. We can merge it to main or some other branches based on our requirement. When does this compare and pull request button appear? These basically appears after a branch with new commits is pushed to GitHub or created directly on the GitHub with changes. GitHub basically in this case detects the differences with the base branch and shows this button on the repository homepage. Creating a branch alone without any commits will not trigger this option. Naturally, unless you have any changes, there is no point showing this. So in Git-based workflows, compare and pull request, it is a perfect combination. So at a high level, what is compare? It shows the differences between the different code versions, either it is branches or commits. It highlights the additions and the deletions. Generally, additions are marked in green, deletions are in red. And what is a pull request? It is a request to merge changes from one branch to another. It could be featured to main or development, some issue branch to main or development based on our requirement. It can include the description provided, the difference in code, and the feedback provided by the team. It basically ensures that the code is reviewed before merging. Now, let us understand this compare and pull request hands-on. In order to demonstrate compare and pull request, we are going to work on a sample repository. Here, I have logged in as a particular user named git sample user 2024 and we are going to demonstrate compare and pull request using this particular repository, demo-repository. First, I am going to create a new branch, clicking on main, typing a branch name, naming this as compare and PR demo. Clicking on this option, create branch. Now this branch is created and I can see the branch name over here. I'm going to make some changes in this branch. I can add some sample text in this file, sample.txt, clicking on edit, committing changes, click on commit changes, going back to the repository. You can notice right away, we have this option, compare and pull request against this newly created branch which has changes already pushed. So it is telling us to compare and then if required, you can create a pull request. I'm not going to do that right away. I'm going to make few more changes, opening another text file, editing this, removing this line, committing the changes, going back to the repository. Let me refresh the page. Now we can see this is two commits ahead. Now, if I click on this compare and pull request, you can see it provides us the option to open a pull request. And if we notice closely, we have this base branch main and it is comparing with the newly created branch. We can change the base branch here also based on our requirement in case we want to raise the pull request against any other branch. Right now, I'm keeping it as is. We can provide a title, we can add a description and if I scroll down here, we can see the commits are added to the new branch and if I scroll down further, as we mentioned earlier, the additions are marked in green and the deletions are marked in red. So here we can create a pull request. So if we think about compare and pull request, it provides us the option to compare the changes, what files have changed, what exact content has changed and then we can raise the pull request. Now, this is for a single user. We can create a pull request right away. Let me add a description for this pull request. And just to make it a little bit realistic, I'm going to add a reviewer over here. In this project, I have few collaborators. I'm going to assign this pull request to one of them. So this J2 Expert 2020, the developer one is selected. Scrolling down, I can click on create pull request. Now we can see this pull request is created. So first we compared and then we raise the pull request. I can see the title over here and at the bottom we have the different commits available. The state right now is review requested and we don't have any conflict as such. Apart from adding the review, let me assign this pull request also.
So here I myself also can merge the pull request, but just to simulate a real life workflow, let me log in as another user. So this is the other user. If he clicks on his pull requests here, your pull requests and clicks on assigned, we can see the pull request over here. He can open. This is the message. This user requested your review on this pull request. He can view the changes from here and based on requirement, he can add his review. If there is any issues, he can comment, he can request changes or if things are okay, he can approve. So the reviewer can merge the pull request in this case or the person who raised this pull request. Let the person who raised the pull request merge it. Now I'm back to the first user. If we click here, your pull requests, this is the one which is created. This is open. If I scroll down, change is reviewed. We can merge the pull request over here. Confirm merge. Now it is merged. So here we followed the overall pull request process. But if we think about compare and pull request, first it provides us the option to compare the changes and then it allows us to move ahead with the pull request. Now this compare and pull request would work in the same way if we do it from GitHub desktop as well. Let me open GitHub desktop and I'm going to clone this particular repository into my local using GitHub desktop also. Clicking on this demo hyphen repository clicking on clone, clicking this clone button. I have this main branch selected, creating a new branch, naming this as compare and PR demo 2, creating this branch. Let me open this in system explorer. We are just going to make some changes. Saved it. Going back to GitHub desktop, adding a comment, commenting this file publish this branch. Now this branch is in our remote repository. Let me open it. You can see right away this particular branch is shown over here and it is showing this button compare and pull request. So same process we can follow over here. I'm not going to perform the full flow. I'm just going here creating a pull request and from here itself I'm going to approve this. Clicking on merge pull request, confirm merge. Now this pull request is successfully merged and closed. So whenever we are creating new branches and in that branch there are changes, we are pushing them initially this compare and pull request button appears. It is a feature in GitHub when we make the changes from GitHub itself or via some tools like GitHub desktop or any other editor based on the scenario this particular button appears and we can accordingly compare the changes and go ahead with the pull request process.